Okay, I am here with uh, Mr. Nicholas Ellison, a.k.a. Stanky! No, 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 come on, come on. I know it's cold guy, but come on. Stanky's come all the way from Reading, man. Come on, let me, let me hear a trailer welcome for Stanky, please. Excellent, how you doing, dude? I am freezing my tits off, actually. Very cold. You came all the way from Reading today? Yes, yeah, the lovely Reading. Berkshire. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, now that, that kind of leads me straight on to my first thing, Stanky. Like, you're the complete opposite. Are you a crusty or something in disguise? You know what? Uh, I didn't actually know about the term beforehand. So no. no, come, no, no, come! I gotta call you on that, dude. You did not know that Stanky meant nasty. Oh, you're right. Obviously, I do now, just through looking out. But it's it's just one of those things, man. I liked it at the time, and I was like, and then I looked at it about two years later, and I was like, on Urban Dictionary, I was like, oh shit, that. Oh well, I'll just keep it. Fuck it. <laughs> has has that hindered your uh, chances in the like game of love? Never. If, if anything, it makes it better. Girls like a bit of stanky, yeah? They're, you know, they're expecting something smelly and disgusting, and then it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful, ladies. If you want a bit of stanky, it's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, actually. Dude, you took it there. I had to go. I had to go. Okay. Um, uh, what, um, what you, just, you just figured that out? Really? They just worked out I'm way too loud. You've known me over 20 years. Uh, anyway, getting back to the <laughs> getting back to the point at hand. Um, let's go. Yeah, do you like it? It's, uh, it's uh, completely so I can stay where uh, where I need to be. Uh, let's start with your releases. A couple of uh, months back, let's go back to September. You had uh, Midnight Snacks EP released on the Shades. Um, <laughs> shades, yeah. Everybody loves the Shades. Uh, we do. So, how did that come about? Um, well, I think Owen was the main guy, really, just through, you know, being fan. He kind of hooked me up with the guys. Are you friends, are you? Oh, hold on a second. Ellison. No, Elson. Elson. So he's actually, he is a brother from another mother, but that mother happens to be my dad's sister. So that makes him my cousin. Jerry! 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 I didn't get that either, but... <laughs> he's my cousin, basically. You could have just said he was your cousin, dude. Now they're thinking you're stanking inbred. Yeah, but we are, very. Okay, let's get back to the music because you do make absolutely good music, which I, I'm quite happy about because some people are too cool for school, but you are not. Um, let's go back to um, a remix that you did. Um, you did one with Owen House, who's just finished his um, Japanese tour as well. So big shout to um, Owen House, big, big trailer TV um, uh, friend. Um, so you did um, a collab with him, which was the Caffeine Percussions, and then you did a remix with Hibu um, Blaster, um, which Hibu Blaster. Sorry, um, which uh, remix was that? So uh, I did a cheeky demo a couple of months ago, and it was, um, and he just latched straight onto it. And I've been in contact with these French, this French lot, and they're really wicked. Um, they do some amazing act, like illustrations, animations, and this guy was like, "Oh, I've remixed the track, love this stuff." He just got on board and did it, and it was. Wicked, I was well chuffed, yeah. Long. When did you finish that? Um, I mean, that must have been like a month ago now, I think. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so is it, is it online, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's on SoundCloud, so yeah. Should be some, somewhere around there. With the amazing illustration from BB Blaster as well, and she's very talented. She knows where it's at. Maybe a music video in the future for me as well. So thank you for that. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. So check that out on SoundCloud, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's uh, move through this a little bit uh, quicker. Um, one thing, <laughs> uh, a little bit quicker, a little bit quicker. It's cold out here, man. It's cold. I'm, I want to pull my hood up and everything. But Okay, look, thematic. Uh, Right, because when I got the cinematics, okay, when I got this interview, the first thing I got was this video of this guy talking about sound and stuff. And um, uh, cinematics, it's the study of sound and vibration. Vibration. Uh, vibration. So, uh, okay, what's the connection? Um, right, basically, the, the weird stuff that happens with the vibrations to all this like, crazy stuff, it just looks so cool. Vibrations make the world go round, man. I don't know. And I just like the video. And I actually sampled the chunk from that video and just whacked it in the start of my EP. 
I just thought it made sense, you know, just soundy shit. So I was like, yeah, all right, that'll, that'll do me. Thank you very much. Well, actually, I, I did a little bit of digging to find out some information about um, the old, uh, was it, uh, the, the somatic um, harmonics. And uh, basically, they're part of something called the sol fe solfeggio, excuse my pronunciation, solfeggio harmonics. And apparently, each one of these frequencies, because um, there's one frequency which is um, 528 hertz, getting a bit geeky, stay with me. 528 hertz, which basically is supposed to be the frequency of love. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. So, you know, when you hear a track and you're like, oh, oh, I really love that. It could be because it's at 528 hertz. Now, there's a couple other ones. I'm going to run through them really, really quickly because I don't want to bore anyone. But um, if you wanted to find a bit more about these um, solfeggio harmonics, uh, you can go online and find them out. But uh, let me pick out a couple of interesting ones here. Uh, Undoing situations that you've basically messed up. That's supposed to be 417 hertz. So if you've, if you've done something bad or you messed up, sit in a room, put 417 hertz on, and chances are things will change. Is there a fish and chips frequency as well? I can imagine it's just going through. There's yeah, not a fish and chips frequency. Why would there be a fish and chip well, frequency? This is for humans. It's for humans. Yeah, I know, but this is supposed to be changing the free... Anyway, don't worry about it. Anyway, so that is... <laughs> I really thought you kind of went deep into that one, but you did on that one. But what I can do, what I can do to kind of like link that in... Because uh, uh, you did a track called uh, Somatic Sigh. Yeah, that's the intro to my, the intro to my EP, yeah. Somatic Sigh. And um, you, the whole idea of this whole somatic thing is that um, sound created everything and we're all linked by sound. So what I thought, thought I would do, I thought I'd go from somatics, all right, and then which is basically visible sound through vibration, which is sacred geometry, okay? So sacred geometry formed sound genosis, genosis, om unit. He just had uh, uh, an EP called Om Units, uh, um, called Genosis, so that proves that we're all connected by sound. Beautiful thing. I know. That was a complete waste of bloody time, wasn't it? That took me an hour to do it. I don't even why. It sounded better in my head anyway. I thought it was great. Okay, so what are you going to be playing for us tonight? Right, uh, I'm going to be doing a bit of a mix and match, kind of uh, half live, half whatever, just a hot bit improvised. I've got, a, it's basically all my stuff, so I'm just going to muck around and see what, see what happens. Yeah, I lost a lot of my work recently on that on that file, so I'm just going to go with it, man. I'm going to go with it. Uh, well, I heard you were you were in the process of making an album. Is that true? Yeah. I, well, I've got so much stuff that just kind of it's all about putting it together. Um, Jitter Jazz. I'm pretty sure there'll be something coming out fairly soon. Definitely a collaboration with Polar Kid, who's uh, who's my man in, in Norway right now. Hello. And um, yeah, that's that's going to go places. I reckon. He's wicked. He's wicked. All so the guys on, all the guys on Jitter. So, so, so when you um, when you kind of like start to kind of choose your album, how do you kind of go, boom? And I spent too much time in a dark room. <laughs> what, what's your process? How do you kind of like Im eliminate like the chaff? Uh, I, a lot of time, just I guess. Oh, this is really boring. Listening to it, kind of. They want to know. They want to know. Oh, back to back just seeing if it kind of flows. Even if it's a completely different kind of track, if there's something that connects the two, then why not put them together? Even if they're, you know, opposite, you know, polar opposites, then something that connects the two together can be wicked. So. Very organic way of working. Well, yeah, that's, that's what it's about. I'm, I'm all about the organic stuff, I guess. Nice and natural. Nice and natural, oh natural. Well, that's why you're Stanky, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot to Stanky. He's going to be playing for us right now. That's the trailer TV, and we've got a video coming up as well. Uh, I'm not sure which one it is. What it is, boys? It's, it's uh, maybe one of my tracks, and I don't know which one it is, but we're going to find out. It doesn't matter. Stanky. <laughs>
That was Stanky's video. Now we have got him in the flesh inside the trailer. Let me hear some noise for Stanky, please. <laughs> Delayed, but that was adequate. <laughs> okay, so we're going to let him take over the wheels of steel. Well, it's not the wheels of steel anymore. It's the laptop. But... Um, Still, we expect to have um, some really good music. <laughs> wheels of feel. The wheels of feel on Trailer TV. Anyway, Stanky. Okay, you can take this second right now as he warms up. You can still have it playing. Go with the Facebook right now. If you couldn't like us there. Or if you want to, you can send us a message on Twitter. That's at the trailer TV. And if you're wondering, our website is in development and it's gonna be coming very, very soon. Circle traps have just turned up. So that's a full house in the trailer. Stay tuned because we're going to have an interview and a video from them too, plus a DJ set too. But right now you're listening to the sounds of DJ Stanky.
Little Stanky on the trailer TV tonight. Cold outside, but we're keeping it warm in here tonight. If you'd like to get in contact with us, Twitter's a good bet. Also, Facebook too. Halfway through the evening, but we've still got alphabet heaven to come and circle traps too. You did a pretty good job. I think I'll leave you to carry on.
what it runs. You will see many things that answer many questions. You will see living forms, living amoeba, almost animal-like creatures. You will see continents being formed, the Earth itself coming into existence.
one from Chris Nike, Treasure TV, you know what I'm going to say, let me hear some noise. Oh, appreciation for the stanky one, yeah. Okay, you're clean, I know, it's just a name, dude, it's just a name, it's just a name. But we love the set all the same. I'd like to thank all the people that have braved the cold. That's all you guys here tonight. I know it's not a warm one, but we appreciate your support. And if anybody's uh, going my way, I can do it for them. Uh, not really, I've got a car. I'll drive. Okay, trailer TV. Give it another minute. We're gonna have Alphabet's Heaven. Have a little chat with him. And later on, Candies, the lovely Candies, will be interviewing Circle Tracks. They're the boys who are setting up in the back right about now. 